My dear students, welcome to week three of unit four that extends from March 10th till March 14th. We're going to start our week with an explicit. We're going to plan and make an, a storyboard of different pieces of literature. Our word wall is going to include explicit, creative thinking, ATL, strand, plan, storyboard, and literature. You're going to watch a video about how to make a storyboard. Then you are going in groups to read stories given and start planning your storyboard. Group A are going to uh, read the Red Moon story by clicking on the picture. Group B are going to read The Farmer and His Sons. Group C, The Lion and the Mouse. Group D, The Magic Blueberry Bush. Um, then you're going to watch a video about how to make a storyboard. For the interactive activity two, you're going to start uh, making your storyboard. I gave you all the instructions that you need to start your storyboard. You can do it either digitally through boards or through Canva. I gave you two links to follow, or you can make it through a homemade approach. Uh, of course, I added a link where you can find, um, you can find, uh, I'm going to add it again, it seems that there's something wrong with it, where you're going to find um, uh, uh, a document to start drafting your uh, storyboard. After that, you're going to have an interact, a further practice activity for the challenging question. Considering the limitations of storyboard format, how would you effectively convey complex themes or character development that are present in the assigned short story. Discuss specific visual storytelling techniques and narrative strategies you would employ to capture the depth and nuance of the story within the constraints of a storyboard. A self-assessment quiz. And then for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to prepare yourself for the presentation. Um, in Lesson two, you're going to present a PowerPoint presentation about your storyboard. You're going to exchange thoughts, messages, and information effectively through interaction. Our word wall is going to include presentation, communication, purpose, and citation, and citing. Uh, you're going to watch a video about nailing your presentation. Uh, if you want to, uh, to, if you have, or if you want to um, present your storyboard through a PowerPoint, I prepared a slides go link where you can do it. Uh, you will have another video about body language of presentation, tips for presentations. You'll have an interactive activity related to that, a further practice. And for the challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation? A self-assessment. And uh, for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to search on how can culture be expressed? In what ways can culture be expressed? I can't wait to start this uh, week with you guys. Let's go to lesson two. In lesson two, we are going. To, you're going to grasp the concept that culture is reflected through various forms of expression, including clothing, food, and architecture. The word wall is going to include culture, culture iceberg, multiculturalism, subculture, intangible cultural heritage, material culture, clothing, food, and architecture. We're going to watch a video about how culture can culture be expressed. 40 types of um, architecture styles, Gothic, Islamic, and so on. You will have an interactive activity related to that. And you're going to watch a video about how can culture be expressed through food. You will have another interactive activity related to that, a further practice for the challenging question, how do the interconnection between food, our, um, architecture, and clothing reflect deeper cultural values and suicidal norms within a specific community or civilization? You need to provide examples of how changes in one act's aspect, such as architectural design, can influence or be influenced by shifts in culinary traditions or clothing styles and analyze the broader implications for cultural identity and adaptation over time. If I want to give you an explanation or give you an example of that, if you go, let's say, to Saudi Arabia 
And look at the architecture over there. Look at the size of the windows and how the size of the windows can be reflected through the clothing of women over there. Okay, and how can that be intersected, let's say, with food? Okay, um, this is an easy way to make you think about the challenging question. A self-assessment, of course. And I would like you for what to do tomorrow to search about the coffee culture and traditions in Turkey. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.